Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video today about Chris Stokes, as well as Marcus Houston, his wife, Mayana Diki Houston, as well as Raz B. And last but not least, we have Quindon Tarver. And before we get into this video today, you guys, go ahead and like the video, comment down below. And if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it. You can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. Well, it seems like the internet has finally canceled Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston over Raz B's previous claims, you guys. Social media has went as far, you guys, as to cancel Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes over claims of unwanted attention by both of them made against them by former boy band member Raz B. And that isn't even it, you guys. They say that Marcus Houston allegedly got into a relationship with Mayana less than a month after her 18th birthday but had known her for years prior twitter asked how chris stokes and marcus houston have not yet been canceled over the shocking allegations and they now believe wholeheartedly that raz b was telling the truth and they want chris stokes and marcus houston out of here leave your thoughts and opinions down below you guys and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation have y'all heard about well, it? well if you haven't heard about it you know that i'm here for you with the t raz b has claimed for years years that he was allegedly touched and fondled while in the boy band b2k by both chris stokes and marcus houston his pleas were dismissed by most and he was even mocked by fellow bandmate jay boog for making the claims but after allegations made on twitter about marcus houston becoming engaged to an alleged runaway y'all while she was just 19 twitter started to do a little bit more detective work Cause you know what, Boog, I mean, me and Boog, me and Boog was in a room together. Chris Stokes put us in a room together and made us do stuff together. You feel me? Me and Jarrell, Houston. So it's like, I've been protecting people for a long time. I have nothing to lose. I have no one to fear. And it's just, it's tacky. And I don't give a f about B2K. F B2K. You know what I'm saying? I am B2K. And, and if, if ever going to get right, we we'll have to come, come clean. Cause you're not going to live, you're not going to, you're not going to sweep anything under the rug. I was with Chris Stokes and Mark Houston and that's just, that's the truth. Well, my truth, my, my truth is, is the fact that Chris Stokes had me and Jarrell Houston in a room sucking each other's <laughs> My truth is that, hold on, hold on, Judy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My truth is that Jay Bug has some <laughs> Leslie. You get what I'm saying? So I'm dealing with everybody's blaming and pointing the finger at me, but ain't nobody backing me. So this ain't nothing that you can do. This ain't, have, this only have nothing to do with you. I don't, baby, I don't even care about that film. I'm producing The Boogaloo Kid. The movie's already funded all 8% of the movie. I don't care. I'm not tripping off the movie. I'm talking about the principle, and you know what I'm talking about because you're a God-fearing woman. You know what spiritual warfare we're fighting. And I mean, to be honest, you guys, I've always believed Raz B because, I mean, why would someone who had millions of dollars as a teenager of a boy band group be coming out trying to ruin his image by saying another man and his protege touched him and another crazy thing about this is i was touching on this same exact subject last year you guys i mean i don't know if some of you guys remember that i had did an interview with quindon tarver and quindon tarver was like a solo artist back in the 90s who was always playing alongside immature when marcus houston was in the boy band group <laughs> And Quentin Tarver said that he had never told anybody his story. Except for Raz B, you guys. Quentin Tarver and Raz B sat on the phone and had a conversation about all the things that they went through back during that time. But the crazy thing is, you guys, is that Quentin Tarver was going through it before Raz B was even thought about. Allegedly. 
So now that all of this has come back out, you guys, and Twitter actually wants Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes canceled, I am here for it. Josh Sweetner posted on Twitter, can someone please explain why Marcus Houston, a 30-year-old geezer, is engaged to a 19-year-old girl who he allegedly knew before she was 18. They announced they were in a relationship 22 days after she turned 18 last October. And Josh was basically saying that now since all of this has come out, that the comments on Marcus Houston's Instagram are now limited. I really am not trying to be shady when I say this, you guys, but like I said, I had already done some previous research on this entire situation and I actually had the same questions last year of about why Marcus Houston was with this young girl. And when I actually went and looked into it, I noticed that Marcus Houston might be a little fruity in the booty. And I mean, these are just my beliefs and personal opinions. However, I feel like that Marcus Houston might have married Mayana just because, like, she's young. I feel like that she would just be so accepting to be with Marcus Houston, really not knowing his past secrets. I felt like that he could just move on with his life and pretend like he wasn't gay and have kids with her and everything. But on the cool, y'all, I really feel like Marcus Houston married that girl because Chris Stokes has something to do with it and I feel like Chris Stokes really be trying to keep Marcus Houston under his belt because if Marcus Houston start talking baby Chris Stokes is gonna be another R. Kelly so someone else had retweeted Josh's comment and said let's also wake up the fact that she went missing in 2016 and is still on the missing list and if y'all haven't heard about that then y'all know I got the tea for y'all now I really don't know how true this is you guys and the uh, Twitter FBI have figured this out but they're saying that Marcus Houston's wife was last seen alive on August 6th of 2016. And they say that her circumstances were that Mayana's birth mother lost her rights in California and Mayana got adopted in 2012. However, she ran away from her home on August 6th 2016 at 8 No one has seen her since, but they said it is believed that Mayana is with her birth mother, Paula Harris, or with her maternal grandmother in California. I mean, if there's a million people on Twitter convinced that this is Mayana and the same Mayana, then look, y'all, I am so lost for words. I don't even know what to say. There's been a lot of rumors and speculation for a while now that Chris Stokes is guilty of what he has done to the boy band B2K in the past, as well as Quentin Tarver and allegedly probably many others. And someone from Twitter messaged Chris Stokes on Instagram and she actually got a reply from him, you guys and this is what she said Jehovah Witness is going to stop you you got another thing coming you water buffalo looking toad you will be in prison you light skin R. Kelly Chris Stokes responded never only people who do things wrong to people go to jail and those are lies and you will see in the end watch never did anything to anyone sorry you feel that way the person replied back to Chris Stokes and says the only person I feel sorry for is those people you can act all innocent and act like you have no idea well it's too late because you're trending top 10 on Twitter and videos are being made about you so Jade posted on Twitter that Chris Stokes keeps saying at the end, but they never talk to people. Go to Marcus Houston interview on Nick Cannon's show where he talked entirely too much. He deflected the rumors hard. Chris is known for sending lawsuits and thugs to stop people from talking, but his days are numbered. Mia Monet commented on Twitter, it's because they are Jehovah's Witnesses and the men love young girls. It's sick. Lots of people have been saying that Chris Stokes is Marcus Houston's wife's daddy however that is just her play dad you guys that's not her real biological father and i'm really thinking that chris stokes might have found mayana on the street somewhere because chris stokes has a daughter that's almost mayana's age so it just doesn't seem too far-fetched to me you guys that chris stokes found mayana when she was homeless and took her in and mayana and his daughter became close and then she realized that he was the manager of B2K. I mean, hell, I would stick around But too. I'm guessing this little reunion just did not make sense to a lot of people on Twitter, you guys, because Chris Stokes was indeed trending on Twitter. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still trending today with his nasty butt. However, Black Twitter wants to know why Raz B
Our allegations weren't taken seriously after just realizing that Marcus Houston is engaged to a woman who calls Chris Stokes quote unquote dad. Black Twitter went on to say, Raz B warned y'all. He said Marcus Houston him and y'all laughed at him. It's male victims should speak up, but when they do, y'all clown them or don't believe them like y'all do women. Someone else commented, y'all remember when Raz B, former member of B2K, accused Marcus Houston of fondling him and as a result was made a laughing stop? Someone else responded, it still amazes me that Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston haven't really had their me too time yet. It's openly known that they've allegedly preyed on and multiple folks someone else from black twitter chimed in and said just a reminder that when raz b came forward multiple times about the he suffered at the hands of these men he was made fun of dismissed and degraded by fans and the media and his bandmates i mean y'all that is so sad someone else responded i always hated how raz b was laughed at and mocked just because he told the world that marcus houston and chris stokes did that took a whole lot of true courage b2k were all just kids raz b should have been believed someone else replied if raz b came out in 2020 with his story it would be over with i feel so bad he had to deal with people calling him insane this is why men don't want to speak out about stuff that happens to them i'm definitely not gonna let y'all forget that niggas literally said no chris no chris no raz b looking black men made fun of raz b for speaking out about being touched so much that they put it in a rap song no alice can't blink like a boy you all the weakest link like a boy no chris no chris no like a boy and y'all, even though this has been brung up for decades, no one has ever done anything about it. And Marcus Houston never responds to the rumors. So tell me why he got on his Instagram, y'all, and responded to allegations about dating his fiance while she was underage. And I don't know why he went and did that, because you just making it worse. This ninja wrote a paragraph, y'all. He said, with all that's going on in the world, my love life shouldn't be a topic. But since it is, let me just give y'all the facts so you don't have to allegedly believe or create rumors. After reading the blog that was published about my fiance, and I, I felt, I felt with this situation I needed to speak because this is not music or television. This is my family, my my future wife, and my life. I met Maya in 2018 through a mutual friend. Never before then did I even know she existed. The fact that she was listed on one of our films was a misprint or someone being messy. Anyone can post on IMDb and there's no way someone that young could even work on a film set in the position of art director because that position requires years of experience. Maya is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we are all like family. Being a Jehovah's Witness, we all showcase true love like family that's it chris's real daughter chrissy met and became friends with my jehovah's witness convention it was then that chrissy and maya became friends maya and i didn't start dating until she was an adult we fell in love and got engaged in march of 2019 my dad michael loves her and the people i am closest to all love her as well most importantly we have a jehovah's blessing there is so much more to be concerned about in the world than creating rumors about me no no one ever gets facts anymore they just run with stories but hey i guess it comes with the territory so to all the rumors about me none of it is true and that's the story no twists no turns no scandals just true love there is nothing that can t come to light because there's no darkness in my life you wanted the truth i don't have anything to hide so if you're waiting for something else you will be waiting forever Please, people, focus on staying safe through this pandemic and continue fighting for what you believe in as long as it is true justice. And the fight is with love, not hate, because we all matter to God. And I put God first in all things. I love all who support me and thank you. I won't let you down. I love y'all. Peace and love. Marcus Houston. So in case y'all are confused and y'all made it this far, this video is a video that I made two years ago concerning this same situation, but new information has come to light. So all I'm doing is just reposting it because it's all the same information, but it's just some new stuff that I wanted to add. Such as the internet tearing up Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes about this situation with Mayana Dickey, Raz B, and Quentin Tarver so bad that Marcus Houston has come out yet again, you guys, 
and actually did an interview with Uncensored on TV One. And this is what he had to say about meeting his wife, Mayana. Me and my wife's situation is a little different, you know, how we were, how we met, you know, through mutual friends and everything like that. You know, when I met my wife, she was 17. But didn't y'all just hear this man say that he met his wife at the age of 18 through a mutual friend? So tell me why now in 2023, he's trying to come out and persuade all of us that he really met Mayana when she was 17. Because social media has done their investigative work. They've done their detective work and they know for a sure fact that this guy has been knowing Mayana since before the age of 18. And now he he has no choice but to come out and verify that the facts are accurate after there have been so many lies and inconsistencies in his story that he has no choice but to tell the truth. But get this, y'all. He ain't telling the truth. But let me just go ahead and let y'all listen to the rest of this clip and then we're going to get into the tea. So, you know, we had no really conversation and no really connection until, you know, she was of age and, you know, it's people don't understand it. And I got a lot of of course, I got a lot of backlash for marrying someone that was 19. And, you know, when we did finally start to talk, I was like, this woman is like me. And she was just like, when I would talk to her, she just, for one, we had a spiritual connection. And I feel like that's the most important thing. We both love God. We both love Jehovah. And that was key. And being able to start being around her and talking to her and talking to, like, we got it. We, we, we connected to music and, you know. Uh, her spirit, her kindness, her heart reminds me a lot of my mom. And just, you know, we connected on so many. And y'all, to be completely honest, I feel like when Marcus Houston said that he felt like him and Mayana were on the same level and spiritually connected and Mayana reminded him of his mother, Marcus Houston's mom uh, passed away back in the day when he was young, when he was in the IMX group and Chris Stokes was his manager. And it just seems like after his mom passed away that he just stayed with Chris Stokes. So a lot of people feel as if this is the reason why Marcus Houston is never going to turn on Chris Stokes, let alone tell on Chris Stokes and what he went through when he was younger as far as when he was growing up while living with Chris Stokes. The only people who really had the courage to tell their stories were Raz B as well as Quinn. Quindon Tarver. However, if you guys do not know, Quindon Tarver recently passed away as of April 2021 in a single vehicle car crash on the highway. Rest in peace to Quindon. And luckily, Quindon trusted me enough to tell me his story and that piece of evidence is still available on YouTube till this day. I really enjoy having Quindon Tarver on my channel, you guys, as well as being able to meet him in person. He's a beautiful soul and really had a voice from God. Luckily, I still have some clips from that interview that I did with Quentin Tarver when he sang to me, I sing because I'm happy. And it was so beautiful, you guys. Because I'm happy and I sing because I am free. So I just would love for Chris Stokes or Marcus Houston to try to come out and say that they don't know no Quindon Tarver and they don't know what he talking about just like they was trying to make a fool out of Raz B. Y'all can't lie because Quindon and I already gave me all the receipts. <laughs> and Quindon Tarver isn't here to advocate for himself anymore so I'm going to do it. And this actually doesn't have much to do with nothing but Chris Stokes had posted this on his Instagram you guys as of like two weeks ago. They're promoting some movie that they were doing on Tubi and it was Jay Boog and Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes so just imagine 
Jay Boog been lying on Raz B for Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston to make himself look good. And the whole time he been working with them behind the scenes. He needs to be investigated as well. They was really sitting up there like they didn't have no skeletons in their closet, y'all. It was literally like when a picture says a thousand words. I was so disgusted. But let's get back on the tea about Mayana and Marcus Houston. Marcus Houston literally has some questions he needs to answer, rather it be to law enforcement or to the media. Since you wanna be going around here doing interviews like you clearing up something when you really creating more questions. Let's not forget y'all back in 2019 when I sent Mayana an Instagram DM when she was behind that I am Mayana Houston page, which really was a fan page towards Marcus Houston before they came out being a pub couple this was around the same time that i was preparing to do the interview with quindon tarver and i had created a trailer to basically anticipate the interview coming out and i sent the trailer to mayana you guys and this is the trailer in case y'all forgot really advocated hard for Quindon back in 2019 y'all so when I really built up the courage to message Maya on this Instagram page that she had before she got her newer one and I sent her this trailer y'all and you know the trailer starts off black so she really didn't know what it was she had to press play and it wasn't that long so I know that she watched the entirety of it why this girl had the nerve to call me disgusting talking about you're disgusting leave me alone I said how am I disgusting SMH what about what I am Quentin went through, SMH? You're disgusting for not caring about the victims. Just happy you're married to 40-year-old Marcus Houston at 19, you gold digger. I blocked her after that because, girl, you brainwashed for real. Girl, you don't know what's going on. You don't know nothing that that man went through before you came along. And while we on the subject of before she came along, which didn't her missing poster say that she ran away in 2016 y'all don't this missing poster say mayana's birth mother paula harris lost parental rights in california and mayana was adopted in california in 2012 don't this missing poster say that mayana ran away from her home in eugene oregon on august 6 2016 at 8 a.m didn't marcus houston say that he met maya in 2018 through a mutual friend and never before then did i even know she existed before coming back on that interview with uncensored on tv one saying that he did in fact know her at 17. me and my wife's situation is a little different you know how we were how we met you know through mutual friends and everything like that you know I, when i met my wife she was 17. and now thanks to trendy slick on instagram thank you girl you so beautiful i love this picture girl you doing your big one with this picture if it wasn't for this beautiful lady right here tagging gossip of the city y'all to let us all know the truth that marcus houston and chris stokes have some explaining to do because they have adamantly said over and over and over that they didn't know Mayana Dickey before the age of 18, before the age of 17. And it seems like Trendy Slick has caught them in a lie. You said no, the lie detective determined that was a lie. Trendy Slick posted under Gossip of the City's comments and said, when I first moved to California, we were in Corona and I was 26. No kidding. Marcus Houston and some of his Jehovah Witnesses team knocked on my door to cross me over. 
I was just shocked that Marcus Houston was at my door. I thought this was the California life, but I was uncomfortable because I thought he was trying to holler at me, so I stopped answering. Marcus Houston then brought the pastor to really get me in it. Long story short, his wife was one of the four people in his group, and she was yet 18. This was summer 2016, so they most certainly have plenty conversation before she was of age. And then this lady was nice enough to give us video proof and said I'm posting this for everybody on Gossip of the City T who asked to see my video. Some people pages were private so I couldn't DM them so I told them I'll put it here. But all of my OGs remember this literally my first month in Cali. Yo, I swear to God, Marcus Houston from Immature just came knocked on my door and gave me this Jehovah's Witness paper. No fucking lie. I was so in shock I couldn't even find my phone. That's him right there with the bag turned to us right there with the ball head. I don't want to go out there because I don't want to start talking to us, but that's my conversation right there. Oh my God, y'all. She just broke this wide open. That is Chris Stokes, Marcus Houston, and Mayana Dickey in 2016. They said that they did not know this girl before the age of 18, before the age of 17. She is 15 in this video. That is Mayana Dickey, y'all. That is Mayana Dickey, y'all. That is Mayana Juanita Dickey, y'all. And Marcus Houston, y'all. In 2016 in California, y'all. Literally, stop playing with us. Stop lying to us. Just go ahead and admit it. That you was grooming her. You been knowing this girl since she was 15, 16. Stop Lying. Who gonna call the FBI first? Where is law enforcement when you need them?